Yeah. Okay. All right. So what we have here today is the LH X14 GPS drone. What we're going to show you today is how to initiate and set up and calibrate the drone ready for fly. Okay. So first things first is that we need to pre-charge the battery on the drone um, with the balance charger supplied. Once it's charged, you may connect it to the drone. All right. So the uh, cameras, the camera is supplied. Um, uh, un unconnected to the drone so what we need to do is clip the drone on the underside it basically just slides in and the camera wiring goes on to the um, socket with the, uh, the white socket while the servo uh, wiring goes on to the red socket okay so let's just pop that back in and once that's all connected we're ready to fly the drone all right, so the remote control has a rechargeable battery and once again there is a USB charger provided for that make sure it's fully charged and once it's fully charged we're good to go so the first thing we need to do is turn on the drone okay there is a switch on the underside of the drone so just flick that on and <clears throat> what we could see is that the um, LED for the drone is initiating. While that's doing that, let's turn on the remote control. Okay, in a few moments, the video will start transmitting to the screen. And once that's done, um, the LED indicator on the drone is blinking and that's basically telling us that it still hasn't picked up a GPS signal, okay? You can either wait until it's um, picked up the GPS signal this particular calibration has to be done outdoors. All right, as you can see, it's gone solid. That means that it's picked up a GPS signal. So what we need to do now is do a compass calibration before flight so that the drone flies effectively and in um, um, yeah, precisely as well. Okay, so what we're gonna show you here is how to do calibration, uh, GPS and magnetic compass calibration for the LHX20 drone. Okay, so what we need to do is place the left hand joystick to the bottom left and the right hand joystick to the bottom right. Once we do that, the LEDs will flash rapidly to indicate that the uh, drone is now in calibration process. Uh, after, uh, uh, what we need to do is rotate the drone ver uh, horizontally, horizontally three times and then straight after that, uh, vertically, uh, 360 degree, three times. Okay, so let's try and do that now. Okay, so we see that the LEDs are rapidly fla uh, flashing. So let's rotate the drone 360 degree, three times. That's one, that's two, and that's three. So now we'll do it vertically. One. Two, three. Okay, so let's place it on the ground. And as you can see, there it goes solid, which means that the GPS is calibrated and it's received, receiving um, good GPS signal. So let's quickly take off. It's a, it's a bit of a windy day, so you will see that the uh, drone will fly and constantly make adjustments to put it back its in original place. All right, so let's get up for a second and to take off. We're gonna do a manual takeoff and to unlock it, it's bottom left, uh, left hand joystick bottom left, right hand joystick bottom right. And there's actually two ways. You could also do it left hand joystick um, um, bottom right and the right hand joystick left hand bottom left. Okay, but as you can see there, it's taken off. So let's quickly take off. See there, the drone's drifting a bit, but it constantly makes adjustments. Let's move it back a little bit. Yeah, it's a windy day, so you can see it's tilting to the left a little bit, but it's making adjustments and keeping its position. Okay, so to land, we just gently bring it down and all the way down gently
and hold it down and the propellers will turn on. The drone is currently on GPS mode and what we're doing here is auto hover just to show you that the drone keeps in place. It's a windy day today so you can see it moving and it constantly makes adjustments. We're not touching the remote control and it's just staying in one spot.